All my life was a plan when we met Said you never gonna find a better man when we met Can't even imagine in my brain when we met That everything will never be the same You scream at me, baby, give me all your hours You best believe everything I got is ours See, we a team, so we get what we desire Living our dreams, plant a seed, let it flower You and the kids making me a better man now I Vow that I'll never let them down I Next to you's where I wear my crown I You will never ever hit the ground so Give me all my life was the plan when we met yeah. Said you never gonna find a better man when we met Since then, I've had some uh, severe arthritis in the ankle. We had to get some work done to it. So basically, I'm here at the um, outpatient here at Atlantic Care Mainland in the Galloway area of South Jersey. I'm going to get a subtalar fusion. Pretty much, that's where they fuse the joints in your ankle together. So um, it's not so much of an invasive type procedure. The issue is that. Um, with this procedure, they take away, obviously, you know, mo mobility, range of motion. You know, your joint helps you move side to side and up and down. This particular fusion takes away a lot of the, uh, the up and down motion, which will limit, like, jumping and running and stuff like that. But just the pain that I've been through for years because of this arthritis and this joint issue from the, uh, the heel break has been bad. So I'm looking forward to any kind of, you know, relief from that pain. The worst part is that I walked into the doctor's office and I'm not going to be walking out with my feet, you know, because obviously that one ankle's going to be fused together and have a cast on and I got about six to eight weeks of recovery. So. So last time I'll be doing that for a while. How you feel? Um, I have anxiety. <laughs> This is something that should have happened a long time ago, man. Listen, this accident happened two years ago, and pretty much I've been putting it off because I was always waiting for the right time, right time, right time to be away from work, you know, be immobile where I can't walk, you know, six weeks now, weight bearing, eight to 12 weeks of recovery. So uh, there's no such thing as the right time. It's a matter of just biting a bullet and getting started. And the past month, I realized, you know what, I've been walking around in severe pain. I've been living on freaking over-the-counter Motrin and getting cortisone shots every couple of weeks. We're to the point where the cortisone shots don't even work as much anymore. So I've just living, been living my life in pain. So I figured, listen, I'm super active. My lifestyle is always promoting, you know, taking care of your health and fitness and, you know, progressing and moving forward. And, you know, based on all my accomplishments recently, I haven't been moving forward as far as like my own physical fitness and you know just overall sense of well-being just due to living in pain. So today is going to be the day where I get this thing fixed. And if you guys think I was a monster before, I'm letting you guys know I was handicapped. I was 60 percent. You about to see me at a thousand percent. Now you about to see some monster shit. Dive squad. Pre-registration. We need to get called in the back. We're going to try to show you guys as much of this process as possible, especially for those of you who are contemplating subtalar fusion or ankle fusions or, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, maybe you're living in pain. 
and you want to see you know, what it would take to make the first step to getting that fix and all the pros and the cons. We're going to try to bring you guys along for the ride, okay? But for the most part, there's a, there's a risk involved with any kind of procedure, with anesthesia and the whole nine. So we're trying to downplay it. But in Israel, you go to the hospital in the morning, you know, you got, there's people that go in for a minor, a minor procedure and they never walk back out alive. So we still got to take this thing serious. So we're joking, we're playing around, but we're going to be okay. God is by our side, in and out, get this right leg fixed, and it's showtime. Clothes off. I'm gonna become property of the hospital. And once I become property of the hospital, they're gonna chop my damn leg up. Hope you guys are ready. Dob squad. What you guys missed so far was had to change, obviously. So don't mind, don't mind my my new outfit. I got the custom Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton sneak uh, socks. I got the um, Balenciaga gown. Okay. They did take my jewelry, so I have no jewelry. The hardest part is gonna be me taking off my Dob squad. My dive squad band, but I gotta give this in too. So, God, please look over me during this process. So, within about probably 30 minutes, they're gonna roll me in the back, probably start setting up the anesthesia and knock me out. So, a quick recap, guys you know, a sub, a sub Taylor fusion, pretty much just my leg. So, for those of you who know, I crashed a jet ski two years ago. In order to brace from the impact, I was running into a piling in the water. I didn't want my body to hit the piling head on because I knew if I hit the piling that my daughters in the back of the ski would probably die because we would all hit the pile going at it about 65 miles an hour. So the ski is going 60 miles an hour towards the piling. I put my foot out, I kicked the piling through the ski and my daughters off track. So they flew off into the water, they were fine. But my entire body flew into the piling. So my leg buckled and everything from here to here came right off. So what they call that, they call it a degloving. So my leg was degloved, okay? But as you can see here, when my foot made contact with the piling, everything was shredded. Since that day, although my, my calcaneus, my heel bone healed up, we got the skin graft to cover that hole in my leg, I did get bad arthritis right here in the joint, the ankle joint, okay? So today's procedure is basically we got the tibia, we got the fibula, we got the Achilles tendon. We got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff come together right in that particular joint, okay? What happens is arthritis sets in anytime you get any traumatic impact on your ankle. Any kind, anytime you have any kind of degenerative type of uh, condition where you lose cartilage, arthritis is prone to setting in. So due to my traumatic impact, arthritis set in. That arthritis gives you inflammation. Inflammation, for those of you who know, results in pain. So basically, on the foot that I walk on, you know, every day, you know, I'm always swollen. If I'm always swollen, I'm always in pain. So today's procedure is going to be a matter of cutting the leg open, taking the bottom of my foot, taking the top of my foot, everything right there in that joint, and fusing it together. And that was the simplest way to explain it, but it does go a little deeper than that. Um, the problem with that is it takes away some of my range of motion because your feet are supposed to be able to go up and down and sideways, okay? So once they take away that joint and they fuse it together, you're very limited. It's like a 25, .25 you know, uh, degrees that you can move, you know, compared to what you were able to move before. So that's pretty much what's going to go on. It's a 90-minute 90, 90 pr you know, process um, from start to finish. You know, I will be knocked out. I will wake up and all of this is gonna be hurt, but it is what it is. It's a uh, six to 12 week recovery. It's gonna be the bionic leg. Mm. I'm gonna be stronger, I'm gonna be healthier, I'm gonna be pain free, and that's what really matters, all right? So for those of you who've been contemplating getting the procedure done, just out of you know regards to the right timing and being able to take time off from work, or just nervous of the recovery process, 
listen, man, you live one life. So there's no reason to live your life in pain, discomfort, miserable, or a combination of all three. Sometimes you got to get up, bite the bullet, and remember every day is one day less in the recovery process. Showtime, Dob Squad. So Dob Squad, what you missed so far? Anesthesiologist came in, hooked up my anesthesia line. My uh, nurse came and asked a couple questions. Um, pretty much we are standby now. I guess within my surgeries at seven, it's 10 minutes to seven. So they said uh, my doctor should be walking in any moment. They're gonna wheel me to the the room, I guess the pre-operative room or pre-operation room where they're gonna go ahead and uh, get everything anesthesia hooked up, get all my, my vitals and everything taken one last time. Then we go to the OR where it goes down. So we ready. The best news that I got so far was that they give you a nerve blocker. So they, they're gonna hit me with a nerve blocker that actually takes away the pain. My leg goes numb for like three to five days. So I love the idea that I've never had any substance abuse problems in my life, but I do have a lot of clients. And I do know a lot of people in the you know Jersey area and even America that have a lot of substance abuse problems where they probably started with an operation or some kind of you know pain preventive measure and they started popping pills and next thing you know they developed a habit. So that has never been an issue with me. Um, I stay away from pills, but it's good to know that they are adopting the nerve blockers so that when someone comes in for a procedure, they leave the hospital, you know, for the most part, you know, without any kind of narcotics. But um, that's it, man, we ready. So listen, man, listen. Leg, I love you, all right? Next time you guys see that leg, that leg will be in a cast for six to eight weeks. And then we got another four weeks of uh, physical therapy to get me get me walking, basically teach me how to walk again and get the range of motion going. How you feel, babe? <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> but I know he's gonna be strong and he's gonna come out better than this. ever. We soldiers, man. Listen, what don't kill you make you stronger. And I take every misfortune and turn it into a blessing. Remember that, that's the number one thing everybody out there should do. And that's what I've done since I was a kid. Anything that seems like it was a bad thing, somehow, some way, I look at the positive and I make it the biggest blessing that I could have ever encountered in my life. Mm -hmm. So somehow, some way, even today, I'm gonna look at this moment where someone may say, damn, surgery, you know, I feel bad. Nah, I never feel bad for me, never feel bad for anybody else going through badness or negativity or misfortune because if that person knows what they're doing, they're gonna spin it around and turn that negativity and that misfortune into the biggest blessing they could ever imagine possible. Yeah. So my, my words, we gotta come back stronger, faster, quicker, more confident, you know what I'm saying? With a heart to excel way further than we've ever excelled before. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared, baby. I got this. <laughs> Let me kiss. Love you. Love you. But, um, it's about to go down. Almost done. Hey Dab Squad, so I am here in the waiting room. It has been like 30 minutes already. They said that his surgery is going to be one hour. So I'm just waiting. And to my honey, when you're watching this, I love you. And I know that you're going to get through this. And I will be with you every step of the way. I love you. How long has that been? Two hours. Two hours. Well, that is done. Don't move so much. It's all wrapped up. Huh? Is that 
It's all wrapped up. <coughs> Successful Siri Crew. It just came out. It was like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Came for nothing. But we're here. We made it. We survived. Recuperation. Yes. I can't feel my foot. That's what we came, we saw, we conquered. We was fully dressed, got a leg. Just recuperation time now. So we've been here since what? 5.40. 5.40, what time is it now? Well, so basically six hours from start to finish, dressed out, anesthesia, surgery, post-surgery, uh, medication, no, not. So uh, yeah, we out of here. We go home, gotta eat. Time to go. Up. My baby, thanks for holding me down. First Got step you. to get back to 100%. Listen, appreciate you guys coming for the ride. Let's go. Showtime. It's a day. Officially day one back in the gym. I had my surgery on Wednesday. Today is Sunday. I'm not letting the full week go by. A lot of people let too much time go by and they end up falling off track. Get up, get dressed, get in the gym, get that first workout, and then you're back on track. Showtime. What's going on Dob Squad? It is our two week follow up from the procedure. I know the last time we left off, we basically were post-operation. I was in the bed with a little, you know, anesthesia in my head and a couple of Valium pills and whatever shots they gave me had me floating. Basically, we went home from that point. Uh, just typical, you know, feet up for a couple of days. About two weeks I had my feet up. I got back to work maybe about a week later and just been crunching around. The pain was, you know, minimal, I would say out of a one to 10, probably like a four, but I have a pretty high threshold when it comes to pain tolerance. But uh, today's my two week follow up. We are at the doctor's office now. Just had the soft cast taken off my leg. They're gonna take the stitches out of my leg. They're gonna take the staples out of my foot. And uh, we're gonna actually get home with a boot today. So it was either uh, another two week hard cast or a boot. You know me, I had to beg the doctor to put the boot on just so I can feel like I'm getting to uh, another level of uh, basically recovery, I, got, I need some freedom. But from this point, it's gonna be another two to four weeks of uh, non-weight bearing, but I know my body, so I will you know, obviously step when I feel I'm able to. Uh, pretty much, we're moving, moving forward, man. So I'm glad the procedure's behind us. You know, Dr. Winters did phenomenal. Um, and ankle fusion or sub tailor fusion, you are halfway conquered. We got another three, four weeks to go when it's on, baby. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. How's, been the, how's the run been so far, babe? Pretty good. Right? Smooth, right? Yeah. As far as I wasn't grouchy, not miserable. We just been chilling. Mm -hmm. Just catching up, eating good and just, you know, relaxing. So again, I took off a week. Back to work now. That's a close up of what was done to my leg. We uh we fused the, the ankle joint together. We showed them the screws, babe. Got two screws put in there to hold it in place. Looks good. And this is where we at now. So right now I'm suited and booted. They got a sock on me, they just took the uh, they just took the staples out. So I had staples on the side of my foot, staples on my heel. And I got my man with me now. So I feel like the hard part's done. Two weeks is done, you know, again, no painkillers. You know, my feet were up for the first couple of days. I went back to work, you know, maybe what, five days later. 
and I've been back to work, you know, limited, not not my regular day running around. You know, I got my crutches in tow, I haven't put any weight on my feet at all. You know, we had the option of either putting on a hard cast today or a, uh, a boot. I opted for the boot because I just want to feel like I progressed that much more. You know, they figure another four weeks in the boot before I can start to walk or try to walk. I'll go touch and go. I know another week or so from now, I'll probably be able to put some limited weight on my foot. And uh, we're halfway done, guys. Sub Taylor Fusion is almost behind us. I'm gonna be chasing him around real soon. <laughs> I'm gonna be chasing him. And I'm gonna be back on my ones and twos, man. You think I was 100% before, I'm gonna, play. I'm gonna be a million percent this time around. Dive Squad, thanks for taking a ride with us. We'll give you guys a follow-up in a couple days in regards to how I'm feeling. <laughs> And uh, what the next steps are. Say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> Say bye bye. Say bye bye, Daniel, another time. Thank you. Peace.